Hi, I'm Bailey Roberts, and the long term that I decided to do for my Physics 3 class was called Light Through the Magnifying Glass. My original claim was that there will be a maximum distance that the magnifying glass can be from the light source to get an image. Um, so this would be a distance not too close to the light source and not too far from the light source. And what I was trying to do was capture this exact sort of image through the magnifying glass that was reflecting that image onto the paper. Like trying to get all the little ridges that are on the light fixture, trying to get the little, the light that is hitting on the metal pieces on the light fixture as well. So I was just trying to get that whole picture pretty much to shine through that magnifying glass onto the paper. So my procedure was to place a magnifying glass at different distances from the light source and I would use a ruler to measure the distance from the light and I did this in inches. And so for example, I would do 67 inches for my farthest distance and 59 inches for the closest. And I noted that the light shape was at each different distance. So I used a clearness scale, which was a focus or brilliance of the image, and I would just kind of rate what I thought the image was. Um, one being the least clear and five was the most clear for that test. So the supplies that I used, I used a magnifying glass throughout this entire experiment. This is the same magnifying glass I used from beginning to end. I used that ruler that I have sitting there and I used my light fixture of course which was my ceiling fan. And so this is what I was doing. I used my magnifying glass and I just held it up there and I would just look at the image that was reflecting onto the paper and I tried to um, like judge what I thought the clearness of that image was. So what I saw at 62 inches was the, like I could actually see the light fixture shining through so I could see the metal pieces shining through onto that paper and I also saw the light shape shining through which was what I wanted to capture. So 62 inches was the best distance for clearness and that was at the midpoint and 59 inches and 67 inches both weren't that successful in this. But at 67 and 59 inches I saw fuzzy circles so the images just weren't focused whatsoever. And at 65 inches and 61 inches I saw circles with fuzz around them so I'm pretty sure this would have been just the actual light itself and then the fixture um like the glass part with the ridges on it that was probably the fuzzy part and at the mid distance that was the clearest and that was at 62 inches so what else happened i found out that angle had a huge effect on the clearness of the image and that i got a clear image of all the light fixtures on the fan at that 62 inches I couldn't really capture that image well because the phone doesn't really do it justice. It can't, it's just too low quality to get the clearness out of it that I was seeing. And then there were lots of issues with this test. The clearness test did not really work because each individual has their own idea of clearness. So like what I would think is a 3 you might rate as a 2 which could cause issues obviously in the scaling of it. But this would have been solved if I could have possibly gotten pictures off of my phone, but just none of them were clear enough. So it doesn't really show how clear or unclear an image is. And then I tried to get some better pictures of this. I tried to do darker paper underneath to try to see if maybe you could see the details a little better. I did get good results from that. You could see the metal pieces in that picture with the blue underneath of it, and you can see the ridges. And then in the purple picture, you can see ridges, but you can't see the metal as well. So then for the angle test, I decided to test angles, obviously. So I tested uh, three different angles, 180 degrees, 80 degrees, and 40 degrees. And I measured the distance between the brightest light and the outermost rim. So this was my setup for the 180 degree, and I just kind of had the magnifying glass 
mounted on that and it was very steady so it was easy to trace what I was seeing. And this was the 40 degree angle, it was just slightly tilted. And then the 80 degree angle was much more tilted. So this is just kind of what I was doing, like the details of what I was doing. And you can see that I was tracing in this picture of what I was seeing through the magnifying glass. And also I was doing that distance part between the brightest light and the outermost rim. So the brightest part would have been where the light was most centered and the uh, outermost rim was just where the light stopped, like where it started to fade and then stopped. And I just kind of did the left side, the right side, up and then down. The new issue was that how do I display these results because you can't really put them into a graph or a chart because it doesn't show the pattern that like I needed to see for the actual experiment. So then I figured out how to display them was maybe to put all three of the pictures together that I got. So that would be the 180 degree picture, the 80 degree and the 40 degree. And I would operationally define 180 degrees as the standard or normal image. And this would maybe help to find a pattern. So then whenever I did the results of the angle pattern test, I did the dark gray or black color for the 180 degree. And then I did the orange color for the 40 and blue for the 80. And I just traced that on with the measurements that I got of the up, down, left, and right with the brightest at the outermost rim data. So I just kind of combine all of that together. So I thought the results looked kind of messy just because my handwriting is pretty messy and I thought it was hard to follow since it is kind of messy and I just thought that if you understood what I was trying to get at you would see a pattern but otherwise like if I didn't have the little key on the side I don't think you would really get what I'm trying to say there. So how to fix it I thought maybe using larger paper and then show it on a larger scale and this would then test the uncertainty and do the claim that the closer the light source to the magnifying glass the more uncertain the shape of the light becomes. So my procedure once again I would use my, the same three original angles so 180 degrees, 40 degrees, and 80 degrees and at each angle I would test different distances away from the light source so these distances happen to be 63 inches, 66.5 inches, 68.28 inches, and 69.26 inches. And I then drew out what I saw at each of these distances and at each of the angles. So this was kind of the setup that I had going on. I had the large paper and that same setup that I did for the angle test so that everything is very steady so that it's easy to trace what I'm seeing. So you can see that I was tracing the light and I was getting the distances that I was at too and I was also measuring still like how I was in the last test. And so this is what I was doing with the tracing and you can see how the lines at the different angles kind of affect the like what you're actually seeing. So this was the 180 degrees, this was the 40 degree, and this was the 80 degree. And at the farthest distance away with the 80 degree angle, um, very odd shapes started to pop up. So this was a shape that I thought had like kind of a ghosting effect on the end. And the same occurred at this distance and this was right above the farthest the farthest distance away with the 80 degree angle. This had the same effect, that ghosting effect, and you can see the brightest part and then the outermost rim is all ghosting effect. You can see that there's a little reflection also occurring. You can see that the ridges are showing up too in a couple of those pictures too, so I thought that was also interesting. So my results explained, uh, there were some unfamiliar shapes for sure at the 80 degree angle and this shows our uncertainty of the shape of the light and the light appears as a defined shape at the mid distance away so for this case it was 66.5 inches and the actual light fixture detail showed up in this image like before 
and the angles added a ghosting effect to the light. So my overall conclusion, I thought it was very challenging to display the results throughout and that the light through the magnifying glass adds odd effects and some of these effects um, can come from the angle of the of the magnifying glass and at the different distances that you use from the light source. And the farther the light source, the more certain we are about the shape. But this is only until a certain point because once you surpass this point, you become uncertain once again. Thank you, any questions?